This is Bullock Smithy. Got to be careful how you say that. I think Bullock Smithy is a, is a, a hill walk somewhere in the country, but um, it's as much as I know about it. Anyway, she's an absolutely charming little boat. She's 30 feet long, traditional stern, built by Brummagem Boats in 1983. She's just been blacked. There's a photograph of her out the water on our website in the photo gallery, and she's just had a hull survey as well. That's in the office available for viewing. There's Bumble. Paintwork's in good condition. The engine's raw water cooled. That's what's spitting out of the side of the boat there. Full of personality, this boat. It's quite a nice fit out. Full of character. There's a view from the helm. And then we go down some steps into the, the galley area. <clears throat> The boat's actually gas-free, so there's a two-burner hob here and an oven. That's uh, a spirit burner. Works with methylated spirits, I believe. That's an inverter. It's a 500-watt Duroit inverter. That needs wiring in. It's not actually connected at the moment, but it's there. That's the hot water tank. Hot water's heated by an immersion heater. The engine doesn't do it. And there's no central heating on board, so it's an immersion heater to heat the water. There's the electrical isolation points. A bit of a storage area there. The floor is um, laminate in the galleon carpet through the rest of the boat. See what I mean about the characters? Pine tongue and groove to the ceiling cabin sides. There's a pan drawer under there and the burners under the oven there. That, that hat side the door thing opens and the burners in there. Storage under the sink, plenty of. That's uh, just to the right of the screen there, a demountable table which goes in the saloon. The sink is ceramic and there's a ceramic drainer as well. Nice leaded glass cupboard. Uh, Teacups on the wall. It's a laminate worktop in the galley. Tile effect, storage there. The fridge is a 230 volt Electrolux. And that's the view down, looking aft. There's the table I mentioned. So on the starboard side here, good sized storage cupboard. And underneath that is a double door, sliding door, wardrobe. So half height, but plenty of space in there. And next is the sort of saloon stroke sleeping area. There's a couch on the left of the screen, the storage under that. Under here is a, <laughs> this is great to watch. It's a two-handed job to open this, but Billy's not giving up <laughs> yet. No, I think he has given up. Full marks for effort. Anyway, this board drops down, so it's a cross bed. That measures six feet long by four feet wide. The mattresses are in there. It's very easy to erect. That's a convection oven. And over there is a electric uh, double hob, 240 volt twin hob. The kitchen itself, by the way, was nine foot six inches long and the saloon is exactly the same. There's a two seater sofa. Opposite that is another storage cupboard, with leaded glass. These bits and pieces are going to be removed, by the way. There's a little stove, solid fuel, and into the full height well deck. The water tanks are, there's two water tanks, polypropylene, one either one under either of the, each of these benches, I should say. Don't know what the capacities are. It's great being able to walk into your well deck without going up steps and stand up full height. So there's uh, two batteries on board, one domestic, one starter. They were both new in April this year. The lights are mostly LED, but there's three oil lamps on the walls. I mentioned she's gas-free. In here, yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention, in here is the loo. That's a uh, porta potty excellence, and there's the shower area. There is a rail at ceiling height for a shower curtain. There's no curtain there at the moment. It's a really sweet little boat. I could see myself on her 30 years ago. 
back out onto the stern. The cratch cover was new in 2016, by the way, and a new cratch board was put on this morning, so that's April 2023. The engine, that's in here. It's a Vetus M206, Vetus gearbox. The battery, batteries are in here as well. And she's having new glow plugs put on her in the next day or two. So there we go. Really charming little boat. Bullock Smithy. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.